minefield, even though hopefully it won't take us too long, you mentioned Chabad houses. I have a great affinity for Chabad houses. We, you know, in many ways Chabad is, uh, it's been a, a, certainly a big part of my life. And yep. uh, in Israel, it helped uh, our family with uh, the Baltruvas that we are today. Um, but now it's getting to be here in Melbourne that there's a Chabad house on every corner. We, I, I think we're getting to the point where we're hitting, what, what's, the ter- what's the phrase I'm looking for? Um, market saturation. Yes, it is, that's exactly what it is. Market, market, satura- yeah. market saturation. It's getting to the point now where if, you know, it's like cafes on High Street in Armadale. Yep. If another one opens, surely one of the existing ones has to close. It don't There's only so many people right. who can drink so much coffee before the market says there's just an oversupply. Yep. And I'm like, do we need another Chabad house anywhere in the Schmaltz Belt? Right. So Within I'm, a 10 kilometer radius. Hang on, don't ask, don't ask that question because as soon as we get people answering that question, oh, we need one here, all of a sudden you're going to get another one. 906 92087. Yes, Give us, us a call. Take. Like, I can understand if, if, if some real brave bocha. East Caulfield. Says to- <laughs> oh, I even need Caulfield. Oh, no, that's Glenara. They've already got one. But, but I'm. You know, I, I would be more than impressed yep. if some brave bocha opened one up in Tarni. Right. You know? Tarni, is that like I Darabin, know one... Is that Darabin Way? Where's that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that so eastern northwest, suburbs? Northwestern. Northwestern. Northwest. You oh, know, there's Northwestern. Broad Meadows. And, but yeah, there's, there's whole parts of our city that are northwest of where you and, and I, I live. And I talk to so many young uh, Chabadniks young uh, Chabad light, whatever they are, and they desperately want to live in the country. They desperately want to get out of their, their little apartment in St Kilda East and get out with the with their family to a property you know, that they could buy with the same amount of money every or less. Time, every time we go bush, yeah. I always say, because we've, we've done a number of trips where we go through Mildura, and we absolutely love Mildura. It's a beautiful town. It is the a lovely weather's town. It's a beautiful, beautiful town. Beautiful town. Yeah. The weather's awesome all year round. Those townships all around there are all lovely. Yeah. The, well, you got is it Wentworth on the New South Wales side, and I can't remember what's on the the South Australian side. But we've done that loop. But the big difference with Mildura is because Mildura is an irrigated town, it's yep. always green and lush and right. beautiful and whatever. And I've said, to, I've been saying to my wife for many years, if you can find nine other families, one of which has to have a rabbi, I'll emigrate to Mildura. You'd, you've said that. I've said that. Mm. Well, Broken Hill had Mildura. a had a shawl. Broken Hill had a shawl that was operational until the 1960s. Wow, um, 1960s, that's yes. amazing. Um, I, I found it very ironic. Well, we've actually been to the shawl in Broken Hill. Um, it is now the headquarters of the Broken Hill S- Historical Society. That'd be amazing. So I'd like to Bima, go. I think it'd be great if we you know, just shot up there to do a do a shove us in we'll take a tour, um, with, a tour with us and, yeah. yeah so the bimmer the aron everything is there an aron yeah, yeah yeah everything's all still there in fact uh ron took a replica torah just to have sitting in the aron so when people come and have a look they can oh, see yeah. it um but the point i'm getting at is irony of ironies so i see on the tourist map there's the broken hill synagogue oh i gotta go have a look at that so we we get there it's all closed i called the number to say i'm standing outside the shul i want to have a look it's oh, father peter we're terribly sorry the shul's closed for the christmas holidays <laughs> quote unquote <laughs> quote unquote so um, can i say something controversial yet or have you finished your diatribe yeah go for it um gutless wonders who the modern day young chabad kids people couples are gutless wonders how so how so i mean that's a big call yeah you know like it's one thing uh, you know what it's one thing for me to say i know I know. You know, I know. I'm boys putting, are boys, girls I'm, are girls, look, and I'm boys put, will never I'm, be girls, I'm and girls will never be boys. I'm putting my heart on my sleeve here. Right. 
you've just called a whole bunch of our own mob. Yep. So explain Call yourself. Call to the ones who have done Canberra, even if they've just given it a go. Canberra, Cairns, even Surface, whatever. You know, all those other, and I think Newcastle now, Call Kavod to them. But there are young... We know that not so long ago, the the Rebbe in Brooklyn, in Crown Heights, he sent off Shlichim around the world and set up, he, he said to someone, go and set up a Chabad house, go and set up a synagogue, yep. a community in Melbourne, Australia, Yep. right? That we can we can go to that we can have like our chabad min hagim there even though there are jews plenty of jews there already but you go because the other side of the world where's there anyone doing that these days and uh, I'm, I'm happy to take a phone call and and hear someone say well we're doing it here and we're doing it no you're not there are like there are several um young chabad people here in melbourne they're rabbis, all in one hit, they're rabbis, they're shochtim, they can read from the Torah, they've got everything going for them. What do I want to do? Uh, I'll sit back. I, I've got a good life here. We've got the school. I can do everything. I can run an entire community, but I'm going to sit back and take it easy. The, and I'm telling you, the Rebbe would not be happy about that. Get out there. Do something and make the world a better place instead of sitting in your freaking Dalit Amod in Melbourne in your little comfortable makom and get out there and do something. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure those people are just sitting around with their thumbs up their tochuses waiting for something to happen. They have to make it happen. They're good at doing that. They, yeah, but it's also a matter of you may as well do what's easy first before you go off and do what's hard. And then you've got plenty of the young people, the young Chabad people and other religious, uh, Jewish religious, that's not Chabad aligned, that say, I want to live in the country. Fine, get a rabbi, one of these young rabbis and move out to the country. Do it. You're going to spend 500, 600, 700,000 on an apartment, on a, on a three bedroom apartment in East St Kilda. Bloody get yourselves together, a group of you, and get a rabbi and move out and open a little abattoir or something. Get some cows Just and a do a, a little dairy. Um, so I'm pretty peed off about it. Okay, so this is your way of inspiring people to become farmers. Well, where, what are they doing with themselves now? Oh, I don't know. Well, have a look. Who's, inspir kid, you know, who's inspiring them now? Laura, you know, you've got kids now who are at that age. They're starting to get married and settle down and yeah. whatever else. Yeah. No, oh, what do... What is your your new son-in-law, right? He's a landscaper, yeah? Yeah, but these people, it's their hashkafa to do this. This is their, they are bred to do this. The the kind of Yidden that my family and your family come from, we're community Yidden. These people are, are go, out, go out and actually establish communities. Yeah, but who do you establish you know how long are you prepared to sit out in you know the never never yeah waiting for more yin to arrive well it's not going to happen if the one big issue the real one of the issues i have is that there's only ever going to be a certain percentage of the yeah. population that is interested in being part of a kahila okay and more, if I, more and more and more, you know, these guys... Hang really, on, when you say Kihila, now, do you also mean just part of a Jewish community? They want to be, they want to live within a Jewish community no, as they well? they want to be part of a Kihila. Okay, on a right? regular daily on a, basis. On a regular daily, okay. weekly basis, whatever it is. And now there's so many of them, Yeah, they're, they're just cutting each other's lunch. Yeah, along with the, are. along with the, like now, and this is, and this like is part now, of the problem. There is, they all want to do it, and they think they're doing something great, but they're all living in each other's pockets. So now there is Chabad St Kilda, right? Now, if I was Rabbi Glassman, 
I'd be going off my freaking nut. Because one of my own... Is right there. ...has come into my territory. Yep. It's like, here I've gone, I've paid $2.5 million for a McDonald's franchise, and then the company's just gone and sold the franchise to, uh, the, to put into the shop next door. Right. What the hell, man? Yeah. You're listening to J Air, Jewish Australian Internet Radio. J Air broadcasts to Caulfield and nearby suburbs on 87.8 FM, as well as streaming online at J-Air, that's A-I-R dot com dot A-U. Okay, so put Susie Moses down for a move to Mildura. <laughs> yes. Susie with it. So I didn't know Susie. Susie uh, have a move to worked, in, worked in Bendigo for two years. What did she say there? Uh, I lived in Bendigo for two years, working at the Bendigo Bank. The Goldfields congregation was great. Now the Goldfields congregation. Went, now I know there's a shul in Ballarat, and I've already spoken and mentioned to my boys in the Chevra, mm. along with Dov, to go up there and do a Shabbaton because Zach's living in Ballarat. My younger son's living in Ballarat at the moment. Well, that'll be nice, you know, go up there and, and put on a big uh, Shabbos for everyone. Yeah. Um, but the Goldfields... Um, what is she, right? The Goldfields the congregation Goldfields was great. The Goldfields congregation was great. Mildura is so, a great idea. Oh, is a great idea. Harry! I told you, put Susie down for one. Um, Has an airport? But I want to know the Goldfields... Melbourne. So is, was there a congregation in Bendigo? Was there, a, was there an active uh, congregation of Yids in Bendigo? There would have been. And what is Adi right there? Uh, well said, Chabad is the franchise. What, so, what does that mean? Uh, What's mean Chabad to? is the overarching, you know, it's like McDonald's Systems is the franchisor, and the people that own the shops are the franchisees. Yep. These, these guys who open up the Chabad houses are the, uh, are the franchisees. Thank yep. you very much for listening, both <laughs> Eddie and Susie. So um, now yeah, if anybody should... else would like to uh, talk to us about anything, as you can see, we really have no structure for this evening whatsoever. Give us a call on 9069-2087. Harry, I think it's time we finally started tonight's program and talk about some of the things that we actually talked that we, <laughs> we wrote down. <laughs> and said, Look, we talked about working hard in the winery in the Purim. Oh, Women okay. swimming? No, 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 no